Game of Thrones makes us question a lot of things in life but the question in everyone's mind is how did Melisandre survive for so long and that too in Westeros as far as anti-aging technology goes we're still far off from Oasis project from the Tom Cruise mind-bending flick Vanilla Sky to understand how aging works we have to take a look at the basic unit of our body the humble cell inside them there are 46 tiny butterfly shaped structures called chromosomes These contain our DNA, the bread and butter of life. On the ends of each of these chromosomes are protective cap-like structures called telomeres, just like the plastic tips at the end of shoelaces, technically called an aglet, English, am I right? Without the coating, our shoelaces become frayed until they can no longer do their job. As we age, our cells divide and replicate, and each time they do, these telomeres get shorter, but the importance of DNA stays intact. There's something called the Hayflick limit where the cell can only divide up to 50 to 70 times and this eventually leads to the death of the cell and hence we age. Telomeres are essentially like a bomb fuse but luckily an enzyme called telomerase can repair the shortened telomeres. Telomerase is highly expressed in embryonic stem cell in adults in rapidly dividing cells like the bone marrow but is absent in regular adult cells. But until the research comes to market you get to enjoy aging